Hey, welcome guys. This is Claudette. Thanks for joining me today. Welcome to my creative corner. I hope you guys could see me and hear me okay. I'm just gonna check on my laptop and see how I'm coming in. If you guys are tuning in, let me know where you're watching from. I'm in Orlando, Florida. Did you guys have a good Easter weekend? Mine was fair. I had to work last night later than I expect. So that's why I'm talking with you guys this morning. Alrighty. Today we're going to be creating a card. We're going to be creating this card. All right, and we'll be using the stamp set. Um, and it's called the Honey Bee Stamp Set. So we'll be featuring this um, stamp set, Honey Bee Stamp Set. And this card um, was one of the sample in our catalog that I recreated. And before we get into that card, I just want to tell you a little bit. I'm going to be having an online class by mail, as promised. So I'm going to turn the camera down and tell you guys a little bit about that class. I was just checking to see if everything is okay here and my thing it seems like it's buffering I hope I'm coming in okay but we we're gonna go ahead and turn you guys down and then I'm gonna tell you a little bit about this class in the meantime I'll just have you uh, watch this here as we turn down Just trying to center us so we could see here. All right. What you guys doing to get busy? Um, keep busy. Getting outside, getting any fresh air. Getting your exercise in. Doing your daily walks. All right, so I hope you guys can see. So, so now here, so this would be my class by mail. All right, so in this class, what is, is this is a kit that's gonna be included in the class, okay? So in this class, you'll be able to make, you're gonna get eight, well, nine cards, okay? To, today's card is gonna be a bonus card. So outside of that, you'll be able to make eight cards and you'll be getting four designs, okay? So this is just my prep work I'm prepping here for the classes. So hoping that you could see um, these that I'm setting up. Um, so everything is going to be um, already kind of prepped for the most part. I'm going to cut them, score them. The only thing with stamping up policy, we cannot stamp images to send you. Okay. So to get this kit, it's going to just be a handful of kits that I'll be making. Um, so to get, get this kit, you have, you have to be within the U.S. for me to mail it out to you. Okay. So besides the um, cards, I also include the nine envelopes. You're gonna get a PDF 
an exclusive video showing you step by step how to put these cards together okay so you could start you, you'll be this would be able um, be ready to be purchased tomorrow April 14th until the 26th of April and then this will be mailed out no later than April 30th and at that time you'll get your um, PDF and your exclusive exclusive video so this video is just for those people that um, you guys that purchased the kit okay so all the information a sneak peek of um, a couple of the cards when I put them together would be on my um, blog so I'll put my website where you could go ahead and um, look for this um, kit starting tomorrow on my website So this kit, you'll be able to, um, this kit itself is $37. That includes shipping and it's just a flat um, rate, okay? It includes shipping and um, is no tax or anything like that. So this includes the shipping for that. You'll have the option to add on um, other items. So if you want to get the stamp set, it'll be at option to add on the stamp set with that okay so if you want to add on the stamp set it will be an option to add that on and also it comes with this stamp set comes as a bundle and when we say bundle it comes together and you get an extra 10 percent off and it comes with the the dies so you'll have the option to get a stamp set with the kit or the stamp set with the bundle and as well as if you want to get just the PDF and um, the video, you know, there'll be uh, options to um, get that there too as well. Okay. So, and this is for the, the cutouts and the stuff for the sample or the card that we'll be making today included I you're gonna get the designer series paper you're gonna get this this is six by six and you're gonna get 12 in here okay so you'll get that within your kit this all comes with a kit you're gonna get some bling you're gonna get some embellishment and you're gonna get a roll of ribbon and like I said you're gonna get your nine um, envelopes so all of that is gonna be included in your kit with your pre-cut um, card stocks so the designer series paper you'll have to cut yourself alrighty for, for, for $37 you'll get all of that to create your nine cards and so we're going to go ahead and get and create that one card just move everything out of the way Okay, so what I'm starting with here is the base is in seafoam green, is a seafoam green, and this is what Stampin' Up! call this colors. And it is eight by four, and then is scored down um, four inches down the middle. Okay, so we got, that's the base of our cardstock. And then we have some very vanilla. This is for the inside of your card. And then these are the layers for the outside of your card. So let's get our stamps and then we'll start stamping. So this smaller piece of cardstock here is measuring three and five eighths by three and five eighths. We're gonna get our honeycomb, our honey, our honey, the beehives here. We're gonna go ahead and stamp that piece. And I am going to use Daffodil Delight, that's a yellow, to stamp my image.
going to get a scrap piece of paper and I am going to line this up a little bit. I like my grid paper and I'm just going to line this up make sure it's somewhat even. And try to get this a little in the center here. And if you guys have the Stamparatus, guys, this is not a bad time to use your Stamparatus. And then I'm just going to press that, make sure, give my ink enough time to transfer over to my cardstock. And there. So now what I'm going to do is take the die and go ahead and cut that out. Close up my ink. So we're going to go ahead and take the behind die and I am going to run that through my big shot. So I'm just going to put this here. This is my plate. It's well loved. Look how beat up it is. And then I am going to center this. I'm going to put a little bit of um, tape on it so it doesn't move. Again, once you put your uh, masking tape or whatever tape, um, washi tape, you know, put it on, you get some of the stickiness off because sometimes it does rip. It could pull your... Um, some of your paper off if it's too sticky. So I'm going to sandwich that there and then I'm going to run this through my big shot. just want to gently remove your sticky tape all right so then we have that so we'll save that piece there for later and then what we have here now, these here come, I guess more of these are the honeycombs, I guess. I don't know if you want to say. So that, I went ahead and cut those out earlier, and that is on the very vanilla, and you, I cut out two of those, okay? And um, so you're going to need two because you, you want to fit them behind here. And you want to glue them together so then they'll fit behind there okay so I'm gonna get my silicone mat a little sponge to dab my glue and then we'll see here what's the best way here to glue this together Doo -doo. I think I'm gonna do it this way here and we'll get some glue if you guys are just joining me let me know where you're watching from and these sil this silicone knot is pretty cool because the glue just you just rub the glue right off of that let's see if that's enough and then we'll glue these two pieces together and then 
then you have it to stick there to the back, okay? you could see me on image shot here so what we're going to do is turn this over and then we're going to glue this here this way and I'm just going to add some glue to the edges here And then I like the multi-purpose glue because it gives you time to move your work around. So I'm just going to flip it over and see. I think that looks fairly good. Okay. All right, so then next up, let's go ahead and... Um, finish designing the front so on this right here I went ahead and stamped out a couple of the flowers they have one left one right and then I use the um, sea foam ink um, to stamp that out with okay and then in the sample card I use which color did I use the and the sample card, this was a mint macaron that I use, and it's more of a darker gray, okay? And then we're gonna use our Stampin' Blend um, Stamping Right Markers, and um, I'm just gonna color those flowers in. And with these stamping right markers, just like our stamping plan, they have a fine tip and a broader tip. So you let me know which green you prefer. And this um, color with the stamping right markers in Daffodil Delight. So once you stamp it out with the green, then you really, your leaves are already done for you. Of course, you could go back over them if you choose to do that. Then with the, um, we have the little honeybee right there. I stamped him out in early espresso, you know. It's a little softer than using black. So I stamped him and then used the dye to cut him out. And then I'm just gonna add a little yellow to him too as well. I think this is a um, fun stamp set. In college, when my daughter go to their mascot is a, a bee. It's good, fun for the kids. All right. So then, what we're gonna do? I'm just gonna go ahead and stick these flowers down here. my glue don't be heavy handed like me with the glue because once it seeps through you don't want it to seep through any work
So what I'm gonna do is do my little tag, my sentiment. I have that. Um, and then it's thinking of you, sweet friend. Okay. So I am. I use the. Um, I'm gonna use my stamparatus for that. Okay. So that's this, the greeting right here on the card. So I'm gonna use my stamparatus for that, and I am going to use er this stamp it in early espresso. I'm gonna ink that up early espresso and let's see so what's nice with the stamparatus if you miss a spot you could go right back down in that same spot and we do it and you could get the image a little darker if you choose to okay. ah, that looks a little crooked but Let's see. Looks a little crooked. Let's see if I'm just gonna flip it as two sides to paper and see if I could get a straighter image there. I'm gonna clean this off and then um We measure this and try to recent that in, recenter the image. See if we could get it straight. Uh -uh. Alright, let's see if this is any better. Let's try this once, one more time. Alright, that was no better, but any hoots. No better. I wonder if my paper is crooked. New no better at all. Look, if it doesn't work, I already have one pre made. You know, these are the things when you're going live. Let's see here. Let me clean it up one more time. sometimes you you know you have to stick put your sticky on sometimes you put that on crooked and underneath you think it's straight then. so much better all right let me just make it a little darker side and then I'm gonna get my banner punch make those edges I'm gonna get my banner punch create those edges here so we'll just put this in here and create those tips
and this little strip of paper is three inches by a half an inch, okay? And this, our other layer, if um, this layer is three and three fourths by three and three fourths. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring in the hive that I stamped out and punched earlier and then we're gonna put that piece there. What I did in my first sample is I had stamped the image down on this layer, but then it wasn't as, um, it was a little crooked off centered. You know, you could see a little bit of the vanilla showing through there. So I decided to, um punch once i punch out the piece punch stamp on that punch it out and then see if i could get that centered there and i think that would be better that i could move it around and center it versus when you have you already punch you know it's harder to center you know what a better idea yet is let me see if I could glue it on here first that's better glue it on here and then put it there so then I know we have it kind of centered yeah let's try that let's just get our little sponge with glue to do where did I put that Yep. That's what I'm going to do. Just add a little bit of glue here in the honeycomb and then add this here. Okay, that would work. That would work. I'm just shifting a little bit on this side. And then what we're gonna do is put it down. Um, we're gonna pop that up with some dimensionals. And um, in your kit, guys, I'm going to include some dimensionals as well. Add some more here in the side. I'll take those backings off. Someone is calling one of those solicitors. They know everyone is at home. So then we'll just center it here. Let me see how to stand up. And just make sure I have enough edges all around and try not to stick it down right away. Okay, I'm gonna pull it up here a little bit. do alrighty and then what we're going to do is with our sentiment we're gonna put that there but before we do that what we are gonna do is we have this lovely lace ribbon 
and I am going to stick some of that underneath that. This is some beautiful ribbon. So we'll add a little glue, make sure I have the right side. Yeah. Down. And then we'll add that lace to that. And then we'll trim the excess. Scissors like getting dull. I think my daughter was cutting boxes with it. Ugh. So and then we're gonna also pop that up with some dimensionals, okay? When I'm working, I have to have, it's nice to, I have to have a high chair. I have to be really above to see, make sure everything is centered. You know, so. And then what we're gonna do is add our little honey bee. And of course he have to be popped up too. With dimensions. All right, so next what we're going to do is add some pearls. Add a little pearl. And I'm going to take your pick, use a take your pick tool to put some pearls on there. We have one here. That's a medium pearl. We have one here. These are the small ones. Let me use the putty side to see if I'll pick that up. And let's put one here. here so this is um, this take your pick tool is pretty neat because it has putty on one side then you have your spatula and your pokey stuff to this one side here your piercing tool I should say on this one side and it comes with a stylus to a big stylus and a small stylus that you could interchange and put here and then they come with two um, another refill for the putty to pick up little small objects so that's neat there so that's that for the face of the card and then we're just going to get some glue and put glue that onto the front of the card you don't need a lot just get um, glue around the edges a little bit in the middle mainly you want your edges to stick down pretty good and I'm just gonna open it up so I can see that I'm centered. Again, this is why I like the multi-purpose glue because uh, you have time to move your work around. And that's it so then also you just have you, you you'll get this in the kit for your inner piece that you'll glue this down and I try I try not to um, 
put like greetings in my inner one i just save my cards and for what, whatever occasion then i'll make my greeting on the inside and i don't want to stick it down just you know like we said we have more than one side to a card so if i mess up on the one side i could flip it over and redo it on the other side so that's it there we have those two cards so if you guys are interested in getting the um, kit um, that will be ready for purchase tomorrow you'll check out my website and all the information would be there and how to um, get that and this again guys is a bonus card that will be included with that kit i thank you guys for your support thanks for watching me and tuning in you guys have a blessed day until next time this is claudette